اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از مائی لیکچر اباؤٹ دی کورس آف تھرمو ڈائنامکس ہیونگ کورس کوڈ آف پی ایچ وائی تھری تھری ون ان دس لیکچر آئی ول ڈسکس دا ورک ان چینجنگ دی ٹوٹل پولرائزیشن آف اے ڈائی الیکٹرک سالڈ اینڈ سملرلی ان دی ادر پارٹ آف دی لیکچر آئی ول ڈسکس دا ورک ان چینجنگ دی ٹوٹل میگنیٹائزیشن آف پیرا میگنیٹک سالڈ سو the lecture basically consists of two parts in the first part we will try to understand the nature and magnitude of work that is required for the total polarization of a dielectric solid and in the second part of the lecture we will try to understand the concept of work that is required for the total magnetization of a paramagnetic solid um, for the uh, for understanding the work required for the total polarization of a dielectric solid we need to consider a parallel plate capacitor the parallel plate capacitor is such that the distance between the parallel plates of the capacitor is equal to a where the surface area of the capacitor has linear uh, is rep- surface area is represented by a where the distance between the capacitor is represented by small l Uh, similarly the surface area of the capacitor has linear dimension that is large compared with the separation l in between the two plates of the capacitor uh, so what we do we apply a constant potential difference that is equal to the emf uh, to maintain uh, on the plates of the uh, capacitor with the help of a battery so this potential difference will create or will set up a uniform electric field in between the plates of the capacitor so what is the magnitude of that uniform electric field is given by capital e is equal to emf divided by l where l is the length or this uh, the separation in between the plates of the capacitor so one plate has plus as a result of this external potential difference one plate has positive z charge while the other plate has negative z charge and uh, to store charge on the plates of the capacitor work is required and in this case work is done work is to be done for changing the infinitesimal amount of charge dz at the plates the magnitude of work done in this case is equal to dw is equal to uh, epsilon yes em in this symbol that is used for emf dz where dz is the min this infinitesimal amount of charge that is stored on the plates of the capacitor so similarly if we place the uh, if we do the cross multiplication or in this equation cross multiplication so what happened this uh, epsilon capital epsilon will be equal to capital e multiplied by l so we need to put the value of this epsilon over here in this work equation so what will happen this epsilon will be uh, will be uh, represented by e capital e that is the electric field and l is the length and the separation in between the plate of this capacitor so this equation will be like dw is equal to e l d z so the charge z on the plates of the capacitor is is, uh, is z is equal to da where in this case d represent the electric displacement that is caused due to the application of external potential difference and a is the area of the plates so z is equal to da so what we do we need to represent dz by in this equation the work equation here in this equation dw is equal to el dz we need to replace the dz by an amount uh, um, by this amount using the equation of z is equal to da so it will be like a z is a dz is equal to z d uh, a d a i a d d small end so the work equation will be like that dw is equal to a l e d small d into d so what happen we here represent the volume of the dielectric material that is the product of length area and that is the product of area multiplied by 
separation in between the plates of the capacitor so V is equal to AL here in this case V is equal to AL and E is at the same place and DD is at the same place so the work equation will be like that is equal to DW is equal to VEDD so what happen we represent the polarization uh, that is by by rho and the polarization and the relationship between the polarization and the electric displacement is given by this equation in which capital D is equal to epsilon naught E small epsilon naught E plus rho divided by V here D is the electric displacement rho is the total polarization V is the volume epsilon is a constant quantity is the, and E is the electric field so put we, we need to put this value of capital D in the above work equation so what will happen we, we can we, we can have a cross multiplication as well to, for some we, we need to simplify it so what happened the work equation will be that, like that that DW will be equal to V epsilon at E D E plus E D rho so this is the work equation and epsilon naught that is a constant quantity that is, that is actually the permittivity of vacuum so this is actually the work done for uh, on the dielectric material this is actually the work done for dielectric material that means changing the magnitude of charge in the plates of the capacitor we can further help, um, uh, simplify this equation uh, and this uh, equation that is dw is equal to v epsilon naught e into del e uh, into de plus edp this equation has two part one part is, is equal to v epsilon naught e de and the second part is e plus d rho so we need to explain both part of this equation the first term is the work equation first term in this equation represent the work required to increase the electric field by by an amount de and it would even it would be present even if vacuum exists in between the plates of the capacitor so irrespective of the medium in between the plates of the capacitor this part of the work done will exist and uh, oh, the second part here edp that is actually the work required to increase the total polarization of the dielectric by dp uh, by d rho this term is equal to zero when no material is present in between the plates of the capacitor so the work done equation mainly has two parts one is the first part that is deal with the material present that is deal with the irrespective of the material present in dielectric material present in between the plates of the capacitor and the second part uh, deal with the work required to increase the total polarization of the dielectric by an amount edp so uh, the second part of this equation will become equal to zero when there is no material or vacuum is present in between the plates of the capacitor so we are mainly interested in the second part of this equation because this this magnitude is same for all the material it, it depends only the volume of the uh, volume of the capacitor that is the product of uh, area and uh, L L is actually the separation in between the plates of the capacitor. Epsilon R is the permittivity of precept. E is the external uh, the electric field. D E is the change in the electric field. So this is actually constant for all material. We are only interested in the work required to increase the total polarization of the dielectric by by a magnitude of D rho. So we need to concentrate on this. So this work equation is modified into dW is equal to E D rho. Or this equation can be written as dW is equal to E D rho. So this equation is for parallel plates capacitor. And here we can measure the uh, electric field in, in the unit of volts per meter. The total polarization as me is measured in the unit of Coulomb meters and the work is measured in joules. So this is something about the uh, work done that is required 
to uh, to uh, increase the polarization of the dielectric material by edp we can further move towards the same topic and we consider that if the total polarization is changed to change a finite amount from rho i to rho f then the work done will be equal to so we need to integrate the work done in between the region the same equation is only modified and in this case we have work done is equal to rho i to rho f integral definite integral definite integral is equal to edp this is actually the work done in changing the total polarization of a dielectric material between rho i to rho f and this is the magnitude of work done so normally experiments are performed on a diamet at a dielectric material that are that have regular shapes and uniform electric fields uh, for in in solid normally capacitor plates are plain parallel plane and parallel circular or square but in case of liquids and gases dielectric the capacitor plates are coaxial right cylinder so this is something about the work done in the uh, in in increasing or in changing the polarization of a dielectric material so we can go toward the work done in changing the total magnetization of a paramagnetic solid for that purpose we need to consider a paramagnetic solid the configuration of this paramagnetic solid and the paramagnetic uh, work done in changing the total magnetization of paramagnetic solid is uh, uh, that means the experimental setup is shown in the in this figure here we have a paramagnetic materials in in ring form having cross sectional area a a is the cross sectional area of this paramagnetic solids and the mean circumference is l so what uh, what is the an insulating wire is ar around uh, it forming a toroidal wings having enclosed space i means the an insulating wire is used uh forming a toroidal windings with and closely spaced turns ar around this uh, paramagnetic solid so what happened a constant this is actually the uh, the ring of the paramagnetic solid and this is the toroidal windings and these wires are connected with this uh, uh variable resistor and uh, external source so constant current is maintained in the winding by a battery and changed by variable resistor this is this figure actually i mean this symbol actually show the variable resistor and this is the battery i mean the whole circuit is connected with the battery so what happens uh, when this system is connected with the battery a direct current is the winding develop a magnetic induction b which is nearly uniform or this cross sectional of the toroid so by changing current in time dt if we change the current because of this uh, variable resistors I mean changing the potential difference can change the current uh, by changing current in time dt the magnetic induction change by an amount db the magnetic induction will be changed and uh, from the faraday law of electromagnetic induction a back emf is induced in the windings so what happen a back emf is induced in the winding by changing the potential difference that leads to change in current so it will create a back emf and the magnitude of this back emf is given by epsilon capital epsilon is equal to minus n a db divided by t and is directly proportional to the magnitude of change in the magnetic induction per unit time that is equal to epsilon is equal to minus n a db divided by dt so during the time interval dt uh, during the time interval dt uh, the charge dz moves through the circuit and work is done by the battery which is given as so what happen when the circuit is connected during some time interval uh, charge is moved through the circuit and work is done and the magnitude of this work is given by dw is equal to minus uh, epsilon dz so we need to put the value of epsilon in this equation here in this case we found the equation the value of this capital epsilon from faraday that is actually the magnitude of back emf that is generated due to the change in the magnetic field per unit time 
so we need to put the value of this epsilon in uh, here in this equation so what happened uh, this term is replaced by this term is replaced by n minus n a d b divided by dt so what happened this negative sign and the negative sign of this epsilon is cancelled with each other so as a result we have a positive sign because negative multiplied by negative gives us a positive sign so it has been replaced is at it's the same is at the same place so we have the equation like n a d uh, d b divided by dt uh, that is equal to dw that is actually the work done so what happened we can write this equation in the same way like n is equal to dz divided by dt that is actually charge moved through the conductor per unit time and db is the change is the change in magnetic induction so actually the charge moved through a conductor per unit time is the current and we can replace here dz divided by dt by by a symbol i so the work equation will be like uh, that uh, the work equation will be like dw is equal to n a i d b this is a simple equation of work for uh, changing the polarization of the dielectric media changing the magnetization of a dia of a paramagnetic material so the current is again that is the mag dz divided by dt so the magnetic field h due to current inside the toroidal winding is given by h is equal to n i divided by l we can write the same equation like uh, multiplying the numerator and denominator by an amount a so what happened it will be like n a i divided by a l a l is actually the volume of the sample so it will be like n a i divided by h uh, n a i divided by v so this uh, term here the uh, v represent the volume of the paramagnetic material so what happen if we do the cross multiplication in this equation so v h will be equal to the cross multiplication so this equation will be like v into h that is actually the magnetic field h that will be equal to n a i so this is a very simple equation v h is equal to n a i so what we need to do in the next step we need to put the value of n a i that is the number of turns a is the area cross uh, a mean circumference and a i is the current uh, in this equation so we can further simplify the work equation because our main objective is to calculate the work done so this equation will be like uh, dw is equal to v h d b this will be more simplified and uh, this is the work equation so the work done in that case in this case will be equal to v h d b so the total magnetization of the paramagnetic solid is given by b is equal to mu not h plus mu not m divided by v so the work done will be further multiplied so what we need to do we need to replace here the db uh, and we need to take the value of b from this equation so this will be like uh, uh, i mean so changing d the db we can get we can put this value in this equation so the work equation is further modified so is dw is equal to v h d into mu not h plus mu not h d m so this equation has again the work equation has again two parts uh, one is the first part and the other is the second part uh, the second term is the work done in increasing the total magnetization of the material by an amount uh, db dm this equation is the same like equation what we have developed for dielectric materials uh, and that has also two parts one was the uh, part that was only concerned with the mm, with the parallel plate capacitor if there is no material present in between the parallel plate capacitor that work exists and the second part was uh, concerned with the uh, 
dielectric material pressed in between the plates of the capacitor. In the same way, we have the work done has two parts, and the second part, the the first part is the general, and the second part is relevant to the work in increasing the total magnetization by of the material by an amount d m. When no material is present. Uh, when no material is present in the cyanidal or sal salinidal winding, then the value of M will be equal to zero, and work done will be equal to this dM. When when M is equal to zero, this term will become equal to zero, and the work done is equal to dW is equal to uh, vH d into mu naught h. Uh, this is the work necessary to increase the magnetic field in volume V of empty space by amount by an amount d h so d mu h so uh, here in this in the, actually we are interested in the second term of this equation just like in the case of uh, uh, dielectric material we are only concerned with the second term in the same case in the paramagnetic solid we are only concerned with this uh, second term because that is relevant to the work done in increasing the total magnetization of a paramagnetic material by, by, by an amount dm. So what happened? We can only consider the dw is equal to mu naught h dm. In this case, the unit of total magnetization is ampere square meters and mu naught is expressed in the unit of newton per ampere meters and uh, the work when 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 both these are expressed in this unit that the unit of work will be joule so if, when we consider the work done uh, between uh, some particular limits so then we need to use a definite integral and the definite integral is used uh, to calculate the total work done when the magnet total magnetization uh, we need to magnetize the sample between the finite limits that is equal to mi to mf. So the magnitude of work done in this case will be equal to uh, mu naught uh, mu naught uh, integral definite integral mi to mf hdm. So this is something about the uh, work done in uh, um, in in the dielectric material and work done in the paramagnetic material uh, in the salinidal uh, windings. So in 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 next lecture we will discuss something about the composite systems and some generalized uh, uh, generalized systems. So thank you very much for now.